seventh house seventh house is a very important house not because it is the house of marriage <laughs> Everybody is like, oh, it's the house of my seventh house is the house of completion, basically. Lagna is life, seventh house is death. And the seventh house from any house shows the completion of that house. So the completion of the sixth house is what? It is the twelfth house, right? So sixth house is struggle. You are struggling, 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 struggling. And twelfth house is loss. So your struggle has ended because you lost it. <laughs> <laughs> if you have lost, why will you struggle, right? No struggle. End of struggle. <laughs> you are hoping this person will come back to my life. But now you saw in Facebook that posted life uh, event. Got married to uh, X, Y, Z, then you are like, yes, it's over. <laughs> Twelfth house is active now. <laughs> so your struggle has ended now. <laughs> so uh, that is why they say, now my wife, my husband completes me. Some These kind of statements they will give, right? Because seventh house from the Lagna is the completion of the Lagna. <laughs> And the seventh house has the power to make you or break you. Because any planet in the seventh will aspect the Lagna. Any planet. Every planet aspects the seventh from where it sits. So the seventh house is very interesting. And the funny thing is, it is the fourth of the fourth. <coughs> fourth from fourth it it's like saying it's like the happiness of your happiness it's a very peculiar thing <laughs> so fourth house is like if a, if you have a great home but you have a miserable marriage married partner you have lost it the fourth house is finished <laughs> Now you go on the right side. It is the 10th from the 10th house. 10th house, you are the president of the country. And then you come home and the spouse is like, who the hell are you? Abhijit, <laughs> you need to unmute me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's unmuted, I guess. Sorry, you need to mute me. Oh, okay, okay. I'll mute everybody. Mute you then. Yeah, so the 7th uh, house is... <laughs> It is the uh, 10th from the 10th also. So it shows the, it shows how you feel about your own status. Not what your status is, how you feel your status is. Because the 10th house will give you the status, but the 7th house is the house of other people. They, they you will always see that suppose, you get something great in life. But suppose that nobody appreciates you, how you feel? You're miserable, right? <laughs> suppose imagine a lady, she has dressed like, nah, she has dressed like Marilyn Monroe or somebody. She's looking like so beautiful. <laughs> and she goes to a party and then Nobody tells her, wow, you look so fantastic. She'll think, what the hell is wrong, man? <laughs> I've dressed four hours and nobody's even commenting me. So the seventh so house seven tell you how you you how about your support. Suppose you get something average in life, average job, but 10 people come and tell you, oh, you got a great job, fantastic. You got a nice job, it's great. Then you are happy. But you got a job in Google or Microsoft, and then you're, and your husband or your wife is telling, oh, that job is not nice. Or your best friend says, oh, what a useless job. <laughs> so all your pride is shattered completely. And the other day I uh, was doing a reading for a man. He was telling, 
<laughs> he was telling me he, was telling me. he doesn't go home only. <laughs> because what has happened is in his home i mean he's a typical indian guy and he has his mother and wife together so he said that uh, my wife and my mother has made my home into a battlefield kurukshetra they are fighting 24 hours so better <laughs> better i not go only so now you see the fourth house is home na so he doesn't want to go home because the seventh house is problem so he feels better i stay outside and suppose you don't have anything in life but if you have a great marriage or relationship fine it's great so the seventh house is very important that's the house where sun sets and uh, if there is a malefic in the seventh house because seventh house is the house which is the farthest from the ascendant it's the most far thing you see so any malefic there that trait is totally away from you anybody you will see with mars in the seventh they are totally non violent they don't like to fight anybody you check mars in seventh just go and meet them talk to them you talk about violence and all they will like, i don't like all this yeah yeah yes please uh, then why then why is it uh, mars uh, uh, i mean what mangal dosh mangalik dosh mars in seventh if they are non violent see I mean, lord ram has mars in the seventh so he never wanted to fight with ravan do you notice this yeah he didn't will it but he was forced to fight because mars is there so, so and mars, will... mars is yeah, like see, the seventh house is, uh, again that will be a different concept there is a concept of maran karak here maran karak means every planet has a particular house where he feels as if i am dying there if i sit there so i will i will tell you the placements note it down for sun is 12th house <clears throat> because house. 12th house sun is 12th house because it is like telling a politician that you have to go to the forest now he will feel as if i am dead then moon is the 8th house it's telling the it's it's like telling the mind you are always fearful <laughs> then for uh, jupiter it is the third house because third house is the house of uh, you know prostitution so it's like telling to the priest go to the red light zone and have a great time there for venus it is the sixth house it's like telling a beautiful lady that nobody will ever touch you you'll follow celibacy <laughs> and for mars it is the seventh house it's the house where you have to uh, get married mars is brahmacharya celibacy yeah so my, now you tell mars you know that oh you know you can fight but you have to bring vegetables also to your wife <laughs> <laughs> he feels why am i living here <laughs> and yes there are people uh, who will and for saturn it's the first house yes shani in lagna <laughs> the planet which is responsible for your death you have told him go and protect the ascendant <laughs> <laughs> and rahu is the ninth rahu ninth you have told the devil you have to chant the names of ram <clears throat> you will feel better i die <laughs> Hitler has Rahu in the ninth, na? All Jews are useless. Kill them. Yeah. 
एंड केतु केतु इज बी डिबेटेबल समेट इज फोर्थ इट इज लाइक टेलिंग सन्यासी हार्मिट a yogi that go and build a home get settled take car have a nice wife and uh, kids <laughs> everybody is done mercury mercury is the only planet which dies in two houses <laughs> <laughs> mercury dies in the fourth house okay it's like telling a child go to the school all his childishness is finished is very serious have you seen a kid going to the school very serious no talks nothing <laughs> mm. and which is the other house where he dies any idea <laughs> seventh house you will never find a married man smiling <laughs> <laughs> he's always serious all the fun is finished after you're married <clears throat> so mars gets maran karak position in the uh seventh house so it's like saying you don't want to fight but you have to fight due to some reason that's like you feel as if you are dying that's what lord ram used to say i don't want to fight with ravan but i still have to fight <laughs> dharma dharma to follow yeah, that and, and it is exalted so that means when he will pick up the bow and arrow that's it nobody can defeat him all right so that is about the seventh house any question that's, that's a very different uh, explanation of the seventh house because normally what we find um, is that it's marriage it's you know it's sex it's um, i mean sex is eighth house but then marriage, you know opposite sex and all that but uh, this is a very very different It's just an observation, not a question. Yeah, and the worst planets to be in the seventh house are Jupiter and Mercury. Worst planets, especially. I mean, I don't want to be biased or sexist here, but especially for a man, it's terrible. Because it's like saying that uh, for a man, it's like saying that your wife is more mature than you. Hmm. <laughs> then the wife has no growth it's worse for the man and for the girl also yeah A- any woman marry who marries with a ju- man who has jupiter mercury in the seventh she always have to keep pushing oh go do this do that ye karo wo karo ye kyun nahi karte wo kyun nahi karte she is like my god <laughs> that's the that's a typical bad relationship yeah yeah you will see if a girl has a boyfriend who has jupiter mercury in the 7th both or one of them also especially jupiter she will be asking him when will you marry me when 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 will you marry in this life or you want me to put it in the next life and <laughs> he will be like i will maybe some day but i cannot tell you you know when <laughs> because jupiter and mercury gets directional strength big bala in the first house and when it's in 7th it's in big shunya i don't know anything what to do in life <laughs> oh. so now you see go, go back to the like uh, topic of the ascendant i said when jupiter mercury is in the ascendant his filter is like this right so now when it is in the 7th his filter is exactly the opposite of that opposite anything mm. he will do in life without knowing anything he will get into a relationship without knowing if he will marry her or not nothing he knows career he is headless don't he doesn't know anything in life. no knowledge he is just doing it jupiter mercury in the seventh and then other people will come and give you advice you know today you should do this they, these people are very easy to spot you know they will always be running to astrologers <laughs> they will go to 10 astrologers paying 20000 euros in total and then they will ask uh, sir uh, what should i do you know should i become a cricketer or a singer or a painter what should i become and one kp astrologer will say oh your ninth house is linked to the 10th house you'll become a teacher then one nadi astrologer will say you have 6 10 11 prominent you should go into uh, ias exams you know and then you go to a parasara astrologer he will say your lagnesh is in third you should go into it sector 
and then what you end up doing totally confused you don't know anything what to do in life that's the problem so these two are the worst planets for anybody to be in the seventh house especially men yes especially for them and especially if you're in india that holds true more in in india true oh, western ladies may not be <laughs> i don't feel bad for the man i mm. feel bad for the girl actually there's a lot of cultural aspect to this i mean the societal cultural way things are yeah, there is a yeah so that, that that is that is all with the seventh house and seventh house is two karakas one is jupiter and venus okay. <coughs> and uh, there is a million dollar question which people keep asking always for ladies who is the karaka for husband is it uh, jupiter or is it venus <laughs> some will say maybe it's mars you know in nadi they take mars in kp they take somebody else so there is a lot of confusion this confusion comes because they do not actually know the function of the planets they do not know what the house is at all because the 7th house is the 11th from the 9th house it is the gain of your dharma gain of religion so when you have done your spiritual practices without being interrupted by the 6th house which is the 10th from the 9th then in next life lord vishnu will bless you with a spouse with whom you can continue on your spiritual journey mm. but when you have not done that then you do not get that blessing <laughs> and blessing is jupiter so anybody who has a strong jupiter any lady especially they have a higher potential to attract a spouse who will take them ahead in their spiritual journey even if venus is very badly spoiled in their chart but if the opposite is true venus is great and your jupiter is in a precarious state and then you have had it so after 40 years of your married life no spiritual progress zero absolute zero and then you are wondering what did i just do ghar le liya home loan emi everything is over and now i am about to die and can i think of god now no because my husband was always watching tv you know after coming home mm. so that's the answer the million dollar question <laughs> if you know what the planet signifies you will never have this confusion Venus has nothing to do with spirituality, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. And Venus can never, ever, ever be the karaka for husband. He, she, he or she can never be the karaka. But nowadays, Venus is the karaka for husband because women are not knowing that they should be searching for spiritual traits in the husband. So they end up marrying people just because they like to be with them. Venus is like and feel. Have you seen ladies telling? I yeah. like him very much. <laughs> I I I feel good with him. You know that is why I stay with him. So that is that's the feeling which they get. You know that feel. <laughs> <laughs> then you see Venus. Then Venus is the deciding factor. But I so know also how, moon. Also moon, isn't it? Moon is later. That is when you fall in love and you are like committed, and that is like later. But first you have to enter, right? Hmm. If there is a problem in the entrance only, what will you do after? Hmm. So that's the answer. So I first ask that what are the traits that you are looking for in a husband? Because now the funny thing is, if Jupiter is the suppose Jupiter is the karak for husband, then Jupiter should also be the karak for wife, right? In a man's chart. Hmm. Yes, that will. Okay, so basically this opens up another discussion that. this is not that what we are thinking it should be it is what karma we have brought with ourselves so a, the what jupiter is going you, if this argument is there for ladies why mm. in the universe this argument is not there for men for men it's blanket venus but why 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 the answer is very simple because a man as per scriptures please write it down <laughs> <laughs> Okay, controversy. <laughs> a man is not supposed to expect spiritual 
enrichment from his wife which means if a man goes to his guru and he says actually you know i am chanting this mantra but she does not sit with me she is watching tv you know what can i do then the guru will slap him is a get lost you idiot <laughs> He is not supposed to expect that from his wife. So for him, it is only Venus, love, romance, food, comforts. That is all the wife is, and love and whatever, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But a woman is supposed to expect that when I don't feel like chanting this mantra, my husband will say, "Darling, come sit. We will chant together. I will make you chant. I will help you chant." When you are, when your mind is going crazy, your mind is going haywire, then the husband will come and say, "Okay, don't worry. You know, I am there. We will sit and we will do this yagya. We will do the home. We will do this dan. We will do this whenever you don't want to do." That is why it is Jupiter. <laughs> All doubts dispelled. Any doubts? Very clear. Uh, Manju ji, you had a question. I don't know. I am not able to unmute you due to some reason. Maybe she needs to unmute, or he needs to unmute. No, no. I am clicking unmute, but it is not happening. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Unmute. Now, 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 you can speak, Manju ji. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, no, actually, I'm just. Uh, uh, but when you're talking, there is a, a bit disturbance. Can you just mute all the people, especially when you are starting with the new new house? Okay, I'll mute all then. That is all you want to say? Yeah, that that was okay. Only. I'll mute mute all then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we will go to the eighth house now. Eighth house. What is the eighth house? Eighth house. Eighth house is a very interesting house. You know, it is that house which tells you it is good to be bad. <laughs> it is great to be bad. Actually, not good. It's great. 